So for many years now, I've used landscape lights around my garden beds that are these solar versions that you can get pretty cheap. Amazon, your local hardware stores, pretty much anywhere. Um, but there's been a couple issues that I've had with them. One is, um, as you see here, sometimes when you're taking them out for the winter, the stakes break off. The While they're solar powered, they begin to lose their power over the years. So the batteries don't stay charged. The lights aren't as bright. You can see inside they get full with the lots of bugs and most importantly there's no fun control or colors or anything you can do with it so i decided finally this year instead of replacing them again it was time to do something different all right so here we have the package from wally's lights these are their newest version of the ground lights so let's open it up and see what's inside So we have the path lights, there's 15 on each strand. They come with the X-Connect ends, so they'll work with our standard pigtails. And then the change with this new version is that the stakes come separately. And so they're a separate piece, and they just go ahead and clip on to the lights, and then they're attached and you can no longer get them off. As I started putting the lights outside, since I'm putting them in, in my garden beds, Due to the layer of mulch, I noticed the spikes that came with the path lights don't go far enough in to really hold them steady. So I ended up modeling a adapter spike, um, it's 3D printed, that actually slides right over the existing spikes, snaps in, and takes the spike from about 2 inches to about 5 inches of depth, and so this will end up holding the lights better in place through the mulch and into the ground. To control the lights, I'm going to use a Quinn LED Dig Uno. Here we can see as I quickly put together a controller box and a CG500. If you want to see in detail how I build a box like this, I'll link the video in the upper right. But in this case, let's watch it at 20 times speed to get through it really quick. So now we have our controller installed outside, mounted to a EMT post. And then we have the wires running out to two different ports, one for each side of the sidewalk. And our path lights are installed along the edge of the landscape beds and attempting to bury the wires under the mulch to have a cleaner install. With the lights installed, let's take a look at how some effects look.